one of the other sleds ended up going off the cliff. So I'm on my way up there with good old Josh. I'm, he lives on the way there, so I'm picking him up. And uh, we're gonna hopefully recover. All right, we're at the trailhead. We got Josh strapping everything to the four-wheeler. We got the truck and trailer. And Colton decided not to join us, so his sled's just gonna sit on the trailer. I told him I didn't bring it, but guess what? It's here. So, and uh, and yeah, we're just we're gonna we're gonna go for it. How's it gonna go, Josh? I think it's gonna fall off the second we start going. So Josh is positive, and uh, everything looks great. So we're here, and uh, Mike yeah. told me that uh, it was not as bad as Colton's sled was. But you see my sled way the hell down there. Yeah, it's it's about two thirds to three quarters as far down as Colton's was, and there's like almost nothing to attach to on this bank. I gotta go way over there, so I guess we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'll keep you updated. We got Josh climbing up there to anchor the four wheeler. So what we're gonna do is anchor to that tree up there with the four wheeler. We got a winch on the four wheeler. And then we've got the cable anchored to that tree up there, running all the way down through a snap block on the front of the sled. And then the cable comes back up and stops. Then we should have enough slack to start pulling. And then we'll lock it in and adjust and do what we need to do. But uh, that is so far the plan. We'll see how, how it goes. just to give us to reset our length because you can't really ratchet strap a cable for like three or four feet yeah we might get it up to this set of trees here but we got it straight now okay she's coming up we got her to that tree we had to adjust our length so we're still pulling the same way and uh here goes try number two three
she might be there. Look at that. Righteous. <laughs> all right. All right, we're all loaded up. Sled's running, quad's running. We got everything loaded on here. We got the saw, we got the light bar, we got our cables wound up. And you can't see again. I'm trying to get you guys light, but okay. We're unstrapped from there. We're unstrapped from there. All of our crap is cleaned up. We left a nice area where people can see that somebody died down there, so it's fine. Uh, no, it's too dead. My phone's almost dead, guys. So Josh is going to ride the sled down for the first time ever. And uh, hopefully he doesn't launch it off a cliff. So... Without further ado, here we go. All right, guys, we made it back to the truck. Everything's all loaded up. I know you can't see because the light's facing the wrong direction, but Josh did great. He made it back in one piece. We didn't go off the cliff again. Somehow. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, so we're just gonna take off and get out of here. And also, I'm no Milwaukee rep, but I put off buying this freaking light for so long, and every time I've used it, I've been so thankful that I have it. Had two of them now. Yeah, I'm so yeah, yeah. If uh, in case you're wondering, lock the back of your truck before you take off, because sometimes doors come open and then you lose stuff. So, but yeah, if you if you want a quality light, get yourself one of those Milwaukee pack out box lights, because it's saved my butt. So. It's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.